Hi, I'm Erin Wilson, Assistant Curator here at the Museum of Fine Arts, and I'm here today in our 18th century gallery. I'm here today to discuss our painting Julius Flora by Elizabeth Louise Vigée Lebrun. And Elizabeth Louise Vigée Lebrun is a really fascinating painter, in part because she was a woman who painted professionally at a time when the field was mostly dominated by men. In fact, she gained much recognition um, for her work at a time when it was very much a struggle for her to um, even be acknowledged as such. So Elizabeth Vigée Lebrun was one of the preferred painters of Queen Marie Antoinette. Um, in fact, much of the imagery we see of Queen Marie Antoinette was indeed painted by Vigée Lebrun. And Vigée Lebrun became a member of the Academy of Painting and Sculpture. And this was an institution that had only let a handful of women in over its 200 plus year history. So to get into the Academy of Painting and Sculpture, you were usually given a designation that would either be a genre painter, a portrait painter, or a history painter. And history painting was considered predominantly the field of men only. Um, it, it required multiple figures and was considered much more intellectual than other modes of painting. Vijay Lebrun actually submitted a multi-figure work as her reception piece to this institution, but she couldn't have been labeled as a history painter. So as such, while she was admitted to the category, she was never given a designation. Often, more often, I should say, think of her as a portrait painter, and really that is what she based her entire career on. When the revolution broke out in 1789, Vigée, being very much affiliated with the court and very much a royalist, opted to flee the country. At that time, she traveled to Italy, she traveled to Austria, and eventually worked her way up to St. Petersburg, Russia in 1795. And it was this period in Russia where our portrait here was painted. So this is an image of her daughter, Julie. We can see that she's represented her in this very kind of lush landscape, which really harkens back to the time she spent in Italy earlier. What's interesting about this kind of Italianate landscape is it also very much would have been read as by contemporary audiences as a, kind of a professional goal. At that time, artists were really um, considered at the height of their career if they could show they had studied in Italy at some point in time. So this was a very calculated move on her part to make this direct reference. Nonetheless, it was painted in Russia and it reflects her daughter Julie in this kind of lovely allegorical guise of Flora. You can see that Fiche is very adept not only at creating kind of this wind's blown atmosphere with these dark clouds rolling in and we can see how her shawl just sort of blows back. Uh, v one of the things Vijay was very, very good at was creating kind of clothing that sort of fell in these very graceful folds. And we see this very much here in this neoclassical garment that Julie's wearing. Um, we also see Vijay's uh, adeptness at using color, particularly if you look up close, you can see where she builds up the layers of color. You can see blues under the skin tone, reds in her face, to give her daughter this very kind of luminescent um, glow and appeal. So it's very interesting that we have this work because it is the last known portrait of her daughter Julie that Vigée Lebrun painted. Now Julie from the time of her infancy was a very popular figure in her mom's portrait painting and so it's kind of uh, fascinating to think that we may have the last one she ever painted. Shortly after this work was done, Julie ended up marrying a man who her mother disapproved of. And that put kind of a permanent strain on their relationship. While they did communicate, it was a lot less frequently. Um, from this point on up until Julie's death uh, in, I think, circa 1816 or so. It's also kind of interesting to think that this was painted while she was in St. Petersburg, Russia, because it has now found its home here in St. Petersburg, Florida. And it's so nice to think of things that come full circle like that. It was a pleasure to get to speak a little bit about this painting. It's one of my favorites, and I hope it's one of yours too.